Pixar makes fully fleshed out characters and stories that jump off the screen. They don't just make movies, they make emotional journeys, which prompts us to question, why the hell is this kid's movie changing my outlook on life? Sure, they hide Easter eggs and little treats for fans everywhere in their movies, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the amazing attention to detail in their story and how it's never directly referenced or explicitly told to the audience, but it visually incorporates the character in the story and makes the experience just more dense and fulfilling. For example, I'm not sure about you, but I think that the first eight minutes of Up are magical. It's a beautiful story told in an even more beautiful way. Now the filmmakers put a lot of time into this portion of the film. It's essentially the backbone to get us started into the story. Specifically, you can see a lot of time was spent on set design. Did you notice that every single piece of furniture to picture frame that is owned by Carl is a box shape? While the possessions of Ellie are circular. Their faces, their glasses, their body structure, they all mimic this style. Ellie is more free flowing like a circle, while Carl is structured like that box. But did you even notice there's even a smaller detail in this scene that just kind of makes it that much more sad, if that's even possible? If you notice, when Ellie and Carl are getting married, Carl's wearing a bow tie. And in the end, when Ellie's getting sick and at her funeral, he's wearing that bow tie again. Why is that? Well, most likely, because he never learned to tie a normal tie. There's a portion in the story and in this eight minutes where Ellie adjusts Carl's tie over and over and over again, insinuating he was never the one tying them. It was always Ellie. So before they were married, and when she's gone, he doesn't wear any more ties, simply because he had never learned. There's actually a nice little touch when Ellie is in the hospital, and Carl's saying his final goodbye. Obviously, he's wearing a bow tie here because Ellie's not able to do it for him. But when she looks at him for that final time, she touches his face, and then suddenly adjust his tie one last time. It's a beautiful moment that I missed the first time I was watching. And it just shows you that these characters, they have their little interactions, their little moments, and their backstories. It's on the surface for the audience, but it matters to them. These design choices are amazing in Pixar. There are ones that are a little less subtle, but they give off the same impression, like giving you the character before you even really meet them. Like in Ratatouille, Ego's design of his office, is similar to the shape of a coffin, and then when he sits down at his typewriter, it has a skull on the back of it. Right at the back by the nature of the office, and how the character is presenting himself, and it's insinuated that he can kill anyone's career just by the use of this typewriter. Another attention to detail that is really integral to the story is in Coco. Again, I didn't see this when I watched it for the first time. The story revolves around a guitar and a long lost relative. Miguel believes that it's Ernesto de la Cruz, but it actually turns out to be a sidekick from the entire movie, Hector, and we've been seeing him all along. There's a subtle detail that would actually bring this to your attention much sooner in the movie. Eagle-eyed fans would see the guitar itself actually has a clue. Hector has a very distinct gold tooth, and when you look at the guitar, it shares the same gold tooth. It's a little nod to him actually being the true owner of that guitar all along. When it comes to character design, I think nothing does it better than Inside Out. Every emotion has one color. All red, all green, all blue. Except our main character, Joy. Why is that? Well, it's because her journey, and her journey with sadness, is the main point of the plot. And her character, and the way she looks, mimics that film's plot. Joy has blue hair, leading on to the detail that she has a little bit of sadness inside her. Because just like the plot, you can't have joy without a little sadness. Every frame in every Pixar movie has purpose. The design is intended. It reflects the character in the plot. And this is why I love Pixar so much. They put so much thought into every little thing in their films. And it always drives the character and the story forward. So is there anything I missed? Any details that really have importance to the film? As always, thank you to my patrons, Adam Gray, Jeremy Jacobs, Jenny Edwards, Jeremy Robson, Gabe Marchand, Trevor Cowan, Gunnar Leglin, Colleen West, Estet Hemzesh, Marco Perry, Roland, Aiden McShane, Shalon Hudson, Kieran Hunt, Joris Conan, Brandon Warner, and Sweeby. Thank you for your support, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.